I'm going to do a video for you today, but I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have a bit of fun. Um, all I know is I put this necklace on today and I thought, oh, perhaps I'll use some turquoise tones. But I just don't know where it's going to go. Um, I think I'm going to use Estee Lauder, a bit of sea mist as a base um, for my eyes. I'm going to do my eyes first, obviously, because I don't know where the makeup's going. So if I do my skin then it might all fall down. I'm just going to use it with my finger. Push. Oh, that's a nice colour actually. I'm going to go over that with, um, I'll show you, I think, a bit of MAC Aquadisiac, which was one of my favourite colours back in the day when I first started wearing MAC products. I think I used to wear Aquadisiac with Boston Fur, not Boston Fur, what was the other one? I can't remember what it was called. They, they did a bright green mascara as well, so I used to wear them together. I thought I was so cool. I'm going to get a little bit of Clinique Black Gel Liner and I'm going to take that through the socket, I think. I might not talk much through this because I don't really know where it's going. Maybe leave a bit of a gap. Clean up that liner on top now. And actually, I'm going to get a liner brush. Just use a little bit of aquadisiac just to run over there because it's losing its brightness through there. And I want the brightness still. I still don't know how I feel about that joining, but I'll, I'll come back to it. I might take it off at the end. I'm going to use my aqua liner just inside the eye as well. And I'm going to push the um, aquadisiac over that too. Because I don't know where I'm going, I tend to do one eye at a time. Take a 217 and some dark blue. I'm going to just mix these two together. I think these two, a bright blue and a dark blue. Electric eel and contrast, I think. And I'm just going to pop that in here. It's really dark. And then just with a clean 217, just buff that right through. Forget how much fun it is to just play with products because you're so busy trying to make them look nice all the time. It's fun to just stop and be like, okay, what can I do with these? And the great thing about playing with products is when you're on a job, you never know what works. And someone might say to you, right, I want to do something completely different, something completely abstract. And unless you've had a play and you know how products work and you know what works and what doesn't work, more to the point, what doesn't work is very important. You don't know what you're doing. So I could do this and I could think, right, well, that product doesn't work, that doesn't do that, so I'm not going to use that. And that's why we do these sorts of looks. 
just taking a cotton bud just to clean up under there to keep that really fresh. So don't be afraid to experiment, to try new things. If they don't work, at least you know. I'm going to actually go black inside the eye. I've changed my mind. Let me find a black liner. Now you might find that black eyeliner never stays on the inside of your eye. Um, the Makeup Forever ones stay so well that I'm not using it because I'm going out tonight and I don't want to um, have it stained. So just to warn you, they don't move. So I'm using Max Smolder. I'm just using it in the front part of my eye. Softer blue just through the lash, through the brow line. Just this really soft one here, which I don't know what it's called. Looks a bit like teal. Whether they still do that colour. I don't actually know. And falsies underneath. These are QVS style Q6. Right, I'm going to pop them on the bottom, I think. Because there is a lot going on on the top. And not a lot on the bottom. When you're putting them on the bottom, you might want to let them dry for a little bit longer, because um, these are quite tough. These lashes, so they're going to be they're going to want to move around a bit. That will dry clear in a minute. Bit of mascara for the top lashes. What have I got to hand of mine? Bad Girl Lash Benefit. That will do nicely. Now I need to take the black liner under the eye, otherwise it looks too light. So just through the waterline. I'm going to mix a, a brown and a black together. I'm going to use brown and carbon. Because I don't want them too black. really has to go straight. In fact I'm going to use the black liner as the lower part of the brow to make that slightly stronger. Let's try and conceal out that back bit of brow. Take a little bit of black underneath the eye as well while I'm at it. Why not go the whole hog? A little bit of blue. Just there. And a really soft bit of black just smudged. I'm going to tie my hair up because it get, takes the emphasis away from the look. Let's have fun trying to do the other eye now. I might even go out a little bit long more. See, look, this is the thing. You get so carried away that you end up doing too much and ruining it. But I'm just going to go a little bit more with the line on the side. Now, I want everyone to be wearing this on a night out. As in, well, you could. If you're super eccentric. I think it would be awesome. My brows are completely different shaped, so it's quite difficult to get them the same because I lift one as well. So when I'm doing my makeup, I always lift one, so it's always different. Now I've used a slightly brighter blue on some of it. It's Clarity, which I don't think that MAC do anymore, but there is one called Electric Eel, if you like the colours. Once I put my foundation on, I'll touch up any other bits. So let's go for foundation now. 
Okay, what have I got to hand? There's my Chanel, that'll do nicely. Chanel Vitalumia in 40, and I'm going to mix a little bit of 20 with it, just one little dash of 20, because they're both lying there. Chanel bronzer, that'll do nicely. MAC highlighter and champagne here, I'll use a bit of that I think. What else do I have? Any blushes lying around for me to use? This is a rose pigment I, that I've just seen next to me, I might use that. That'll be perfect. See, that's where you learn what you can use by just playing. So pretty on the cheeks. By just playing and trying things and seeing what's lying around. Um, you learn a whole lot of things. Right, lips. I'm going to pop a bit more concealer on my lips. Marshmallow, Lancome, Juicy Tube here. That's going to go on. A bit of fun, playing around. always have to be beautiful and perfect. A bit overzealous on the juicy tube there. I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care. Bye.